Hello everyone and welcome back to my review channel and uh, as of last video I put up I like I said I was searching through my one of my old rooms in the house and I was just put it like just searching through it and I found like all like I said with the last video I found a bunch of posters and I reviewed and I looked over those posters with y'all and today I'm going to review over the, all the toys that I found um, some of these are out of case which I will show first but the last ones I will show that I still have in a case and will like to keep in a case and uh, after that I just have like a few other collectible things I want to show y'all so let's just go ahead and get started I've had these toys for a long time like I mean I'm a guy I like toys big surprise let's just uh, go ahead and start this these are the ones uh, I have out of case I have this like spider-man little window suction cup thing which is pretty cool pretty big toy I like this one I wish it would stick in my car window though and stay there because I've tried I like I like this now um see what oh yeah I've had this had this one for a long time uh, very vintage spawn right here I've had to like tape up a twine because it's coming done come on done yeah the thing thing is just so old it doesn't even work properly anymore but if it did you see these wings go way up high and be really cool that's why this this spawn figure is the shit um if I just let you know like uh, if this spawn figure let's say you have this spawn figure but you have a spawn figure that's a full mask or really I don't even think it's a full mask I think it's the figure was just like the full face the face part of it now if you have a toy that's this toy but it's either the full mask or the full face this that that's worth some money that's actually a rare toy and uh, if you have it in the case that's that's better if you still have that toy in the case that's better so if you have this toy but with the full mask or it's either the full mask or the full face not half and half like this one is that's worth some money now uh, I have this one flash toy. Uh, imagine this flash toy with a bunch of like armored getup on them. I couldn't find the armor. I was very depressed to see that. I couldn't even find the armor to this toy. But Flash is a cool guy. Um, probably one of my favorite Spider-Man toys because it's so f uh, posable, flexible, like everywhere. I like to I like to put strings. When I was younger, I like to put strings on the end, like you're shooting webs and hang them up in my room. So he's just like, like this or something. Just hanging up in my room somewhere. Like, web, web. So I thought that, was, you know, that's what I like to do with that. Um, getting to really the cooler ones here. The ones I really start to like ass out of my case. Uh, Bizarro Batman. From uh, the Jeff Loeb, Ed McGinnis, Batman and Superman series. Batman, Superman, Superman, Batman series, however you want to say it. Uh, this is the Bizarro Batman. Really cool. In the in the comic book issues, he was he was pretty cool, and I want kind of wanted to get it. And it's Ed McGinnis style uh, art, or like based on his art, Ed McGinnis. And if you've seen any Ed McGinnis stuff, he's done a lot of stuff. Hulk, especially Captain America, Batman, Superman, uh, Deadpool. Oh yeah, good stuff. Likey. Um, I have a cool. Co this is the movie style Leonardo definitely definitely one of my favorites movie Leonardo definitely one of my faves I love this toy <laughs> uh, another one of my favorite and just toys backwards jumping Leonardo this is the one where you just like you can clip him down like this and it'll pop right back up and it'll do a flip <laughs> definitely one of my favorites as well again uh, the next two it came in a double package a long time ago aliens and predator I don't know which guy you which one's your favorite but I'm an alien guy I love aliens dude they're they are vicious vicious creatures that they don't need the high-tech stuff that predator has to mess you up they will find you without having to cloak themselves or like um, heat vision radar 
Okay, not to say Predator's not badass. Predator's cool as hell. I'm just an Aliens guy. Aliens is so cool to me. So, this was like in a double pack years ago. And again, this is probably one of my favorites because it's just like I'm both Aliens and Predator. <laughs> like the Predator came with like a gun and stuff. I still have it somewhere. And uh, probably, again, maybe my favorite toy out of the case right here. Posable Ryu. Posable Ryu. This one's super badass. I do have an extra set of pair of hands that I don't like to interchange. But, like, basically, if you want to do a Hadouken, Hadouken, you have an extra set of hands for them, which, again, I still have at a safe, in a safe spot. I just don't like to, I have them taped together so I don't lose them. And, uh, yeah, that's really cool. So you can, again, this is a uh, pretty posable. has a lot of ways to pose it, so I really like this. And, uh, yeah, details. Like, you can see the glove right here, extremely detailed. has, like, some words to it, and, uh, I don't even know. I don't think that's Japanese or Chinese. I think it's just symbols. I mean, you just see the amount of detail in this toy. It's really fun. This is really cool. And, oh, I'm saying, this isn't even the official Ryu. This is the Dark Hadouken Ryu. This is a super badass one where he has to, like, really go hard to fight. Oh, this one's awesome. I love the Dark Hadouken Ryu. Those are the ones I have out of case. Now, let's start with the good stuff. The stuff I still have in case. Um, let's, start from, let's start with a couple things that not really are toys, I guess. Um, I have a, a couple, I guess. I have a couple of like these Captain America bobbleheads. Really cool bobbleheads. I'm afraid to put the, take these out and put them in my car somewhere. <laughs> They're too cool. They're just too cool. I love these. Captain America. And uh, I don't know what Mighty Mugs are. I have no idea the con like why people want to collect these. I don't understand the point of a Mighty Mug. Like they make these size and they make smaller. You get stuff like Red Skull, Captain America, Spider-Man, Wolverine. I mean, I want to get Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom is awesome. But I still understand. I don't understand the point of Mighty Mugs. There's, they're not bobbleheads. They, they don't really even like do anything or like move around. They barely have any flexibility. Just like an arm that just like goes like meow 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 meow, and a head that goes meow meow meow, and that's about it. I don't see like the, really the point of these. But I wanted to get Doctor Doom, so that's really cool. Doctor Doom. Um. Getting some other stuff. Got this a long time ago from a Spawn series. It's Medusa, the Curse of the Spawn series. Uh, cool stuff. I like it. Keep it in case. Has little like has little guys with it. <laughs> little slaves. Uh, if you get any of the Curse of the Spawn series back in the day, I think she was part of that. Um, Another spawn toy you want, probably a really I like a really cool one. I saw this and I just wanted it, even though it has nothing to do with any of the spawn comics. It's one of those toys that you know just wanted to be cool. This <laughs> spawn mutations, uh, series 20, this is like the 23rd series of like uh, Tom McFarlane toys. Just look how cool that is. I mean, it's pretty twisted looking, I like it, and it's so big. I mean, what who would not want this type of toy right here? I mean, that just looks so cool. I mean, I would, oh my god, I would play with the hell out of this would make him fight my other toys. Make him fight my, like, Batman or Ryu. Um, let's do a couple of these. I have the whole series, the original Ninja Turtles. Uh, well, I have the four. Leo, Don, Raph, and Mike. Now these are not the original, these are the reissues back in like 91 or 92, uh, something like that, maybe, no, it was this 98, it says reissue of 98, so the first ones are 89 and then the reissue, reissues are 1998. So these are the reissues, I like to keep in case. There's, those were those two and now other two I have, 
Don and Mikey. I showed Leo and Raph, now Don and Mikey. Again, these are the reissues. 1998. It still has like the same stuff on the back where you can like, uh, you know, get the car, you know, tells about them, shows all the toys, about, everything original back from the original like 1989 like toys that came out. So it's just a reissue. Really cool stuff. Um, what else we got here? Okay. I have another Spawn toy. Probably, again, I really like this one. I have this issue of Spawn. That's why I like this. This is the Spawn issue 150 where he actually take he actually cuts off and takes Malbolgia's head. Uh, and we all, if you know Spawn, Malbolgia is the, has been like the main villain in hell that's been messing with Spawn. He's the one that, Malbolgia is the like ruler of this level of hell. And he's the one that created the Spawn and has been manipulating Spawn and everything. So an issue like 150, which I have, this is the issue where he takes Spawn, takes Malbolgia's head, which is really cool. You get like a sword, Spawn with his like new getup that you see in by the issue 150, and Malbolgia head, a really messed up Malbolgia head. Really cool. And it's based around the art of uh, Greg Capullo. Greg Ca Capullo. I uh, hope uh, hopefully I didn't butcher it. Capullo. And uh, yeah, he's he's the one that drew Spawn for a long time, right after Tar McFarlane uh, stopped. Um, let's see. Another ah, another couple ones I'm proud of. He. The series, what series is a series two? So it's only the second series of he, of uh, Tom McFarlane's print of Halo and Master Chief Arbiter. Halo. It's all about Halo. I'm big big Halo fan. Uh, I had to get these. I mean, Arbiter has the sword. I'm a big fan of using the sword in the game. You see me with the sword, you better watch out because I'm coming after you. And I will, it's a good chance I will take that life. Um, and of course, you have to have Master Chief with the laser. The laser is so badass in Halo 3. Everyone loves the laser. And how could you not? Um, again, those are probably one of my favorite. I love Halo. So why would, I, why would that not be one of my favorites? Um, I had this, I, I just want to say, oh yeah, I have the original ICP toys. I'm still trying to get rid of this. So if you want it, just contact me or leave me a message or something. I don't care about having this toy anymore. It's the original, very first ones uh, they ever put out. I had to have it back in the day when I was a, when I was an actual fan of these guys. I'm not any longer, I just want to get rid of this stuff. But yeah, there you go, it's like ICP toys. The original, original everything. Um, okay, yeah, right here, look at this, Jason, this is again part of the Tar McFarlane group of toys that he puts out, Tar McFarlane production toys, Jason, Friday the 13th part 2, you get, obviously you get the one where he has the mask, he has the little hood, you get the his face, you get the interchange, and you get his mom's face, his mom's head. So that's really cool. You get to interchange his face, and then you get his mom's head. Jason Voorhees. This is this is definitely one of the cool ones I have. I definitely love this toy. I mean, I'm a I'm a big Friday the Thirteenth fan. So why would I not believe like this is probably one of my favorites? Definitely. Jason Voorhees. Awesome. Awesome. Uh. All right. All right. I think this is uh, the last toy before I get to the actual collectors collectors uh, other stuff that I have but this is still maybe the best toy of my collection Daniel Bryan with beard there you go Daniel Bryan now let's just go ahead and do it yes 
Yes. Yes. Quick question and answer time of Daniel Bryan. Does he have a better beard than most anyone else on the WWE roster, including Mark Henry and CM Punk? Yes. Was it a shame that he lost the belt in 18 seconds? It was he kind of screwed over in that way by WWE? Yes. Will he get that? Will he get it back or a belt back? Hopefully soon. I would like to think. Yes. 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 Daniel Bryan. How could you not love that? Uh, he's just, it's not really much detail. It's just like a plain red jump, like red get up. No detail in the shorts, how well you see now. And, but yeah, I mean, it's cool either way. Um, let's get a couple of these things done. I have this cool little uh, limited edition 157 out of 500 little uh, laser cell. Yeah, limited to 500 uh, by Alex Hurley. Alex Hurley. Anybody who like knows Marvel since like the late 80s, early 90s would know, would hear, would have seen paintings of his on covers in Wizard, uh, almost anywhere Marvel, because he did a lot of paintings for Marvel. Him, like Joe Jusco, a lot of people. Um, see what we have here. I have this sweet Ninja Turtle dartboard I would never use. Why would the hell would I use this? It would just ruin the damn thing. They immediately after use. I would never use this. <laughs> Why the hell would I ever use this? This thing is too cool. Too cool to actually ruin. Why would I ruin it? That's awesome. Um, got a Ninja Turtle. Huh. Snuggy. Full Snuggy. Again, this is awesome. I will wear the hell out of this in the winter time. <laughs> Love it. Uh, pretty cool. I guess Captain America fitted hat. I just wanted to get it because it's fitted. I like fitted hats. Uh, it doesn't really, it doesn't really go with anything. I can't really wear it. I mean, I don't have anything that goes with it. I don't think I look good in it at all. Uh, but I just wanted to have it. I mean, this thing's awesome. And this thing. This thing is really, really kind of old. I mean, it's pretty old school, if nothing else. A toboggan, old school Ninja Turtles toboggan. That's awesome. I like that. Now, to the prize of my collection. This, I've had this, I got this for like a birthday years ago years ago and I loved this I mean for before that but that's why I got for her birthday and I love this stuff so much it's limited certificate of authenticity with it on the back but I uh, Giver it's a like Giver cell from the series from the original series um, it's so awesome it's just that one's just a cell of his head from the original series, uh, which is very cool. I love that. This is the shit, though. This one's awesome. Excuse my language. This one's so cool. Another Giver cell, but this one with the everything in the back. Look at the background. It's the official manga art. With with that, that is awesome. So you get a full picture of Giver with the manga. Uh, well, a page, a splash page, really, or of just like a random part of a uh, yeah. <laughs> this is I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Um, that's my favorite. Those have to be my favorite, hands down. I love guy for. Honestly, I'm probably gonna put them up right behind me. Uh, we'll see. I probably will. I have all those posters too. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you, like, yeah, I love that. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry it took, I'm sorry it went as long as it did, about 20 minutes. Um, yeah, that's that's all my toys and collectible stuff. I'm glad I was able to go through it and like show you guys what I have. Um, 
yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time. Sorry it ran so long, but I had a lot of stuff to... Uh, as you can tell, I had a lot of toys, a lot of collectibles. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave any comments or suggestions down the bottom. I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. And thank you for your time. I appreciate you watching. You guys have a good day. Bye.